blood like, guts. There's <laughs> blood in the window that says help me. Don't Oh, that's, no, oh, that's, that was, what was that's the other one? Uh, Undead or Alive. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a one. stupid one. Oh, my goodness. No, this is Dead Alive. Yeah, I'm sure I've seen that one too. That's the one with the lawnmower. They pick up the lawnmower and it's chopping up zombies with it. And the priest turns into a zombie oh, and yeah, I kick yeah. gas for the Lord and he screws the earth and they have a little zombie baby. <laughs> Some of the movies you do tell me to watch. Oh, you'll love that one. Vulgar. I made him watch Vulgar. That was a stupid I've seen one too. Oh, it's good. For that, that really hurt my feelings seeing that was them guys. That was their first one though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was his first movie. Well, you watch Black Sheep? Huh? Have you watched Black Sheep yet? Yes, yes, that was good. <laughs> I liked that one. Well, I took him and saw that Zach and Mia last weekend. That was alright. It wasn't bad. Yeah, it wasn't bad. I mean, it was supposed to be, you'd think it'd be a lot better than it was. But... I actually want to see Twilight. Yeah, that was uh, pretty tight. Well, I don't know. I don't want to watch it because I end up having to read all the books. You all That's what right? happened with the Harry Potter story. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't touch the books. We made fun of the I guy reading them. I got hooked on the books. The movie hadn't come out yet. I haven't seen either one or read the book. I, I couldn't stand Harry Potter. We made fun of the guy that was reading the books and everything else. And I watched the first movie and I got hooked on him. Whatever. <laughs> we did a yeah. Harvey Potter movie. Yeah. I went and sat out at Barnes & Noble's when the I last book came, book came out. came out. <laughs> the whole day. Yeah, I went to Concord Mall with my daughter and we waited in line. Man. Oh, it sucked because I worked all night before. And I got there, I figured I'd get my bracelet and then come back that Try night. Make me go to that. And they told us, well, yeah, I <laughs> if you get a bracelet, there's still only going to be 300 people in the store, so even with the bracelet, you might not get back in. So I thought, oh, screw that, I'm staying. So I just sat. They got a new one December 9th coming out. That Beagle the Bard. I see both your feet hanging down. Yeah, the one that was only supposed to have like seven copies. Yeah. yeah. Charity. Oh, you knew it wasn't going to last. She's going by greed now. Oh, yeah, of course. Like that lexicon thing, the guy was going to publish the oh, book yeah. on. It's got Michigan, yep. Just because she wasn't getting the cut of the money, oh, she yeah. took it to court and got it blocked. Mm -hmm. But he'd been doing it for how many years online? And she, she, she was there, yeah, she was right there saying yes. Yeah. She loved it. The man she thought was going to be published. She was all over it. I'm going to be pissed. He's in that Harvey Potter movie, too. Yeah, I, I got rid of that, that guy. I my yeah. kids. She bounced around too much. He's up in Michigan. He's like Grand Rapids. Yeah, he Earth came down so bad, and did a special thing for the movie. That should be out 2010. I'll get everybody a copy of that when it comes out. <laughs> you can I, still see. Want, I, yeah. I still want to see Dork of the Rings. I've got it. I'll make you a copy of it. Yeah. Ours is better. Jennifer's in that. Yeah, I can do this. I Chet, tell me to come over one day. It's like, uh, no. <laughs> I only got five cats. Definitely no. Yeah. Yeah, you can still smell her trailer from the outside, no. Her clothes are fucking leaking. I know. I told her it would. We're going to a new club the 29th. You're so uh, from Fort Wayne now. We have a special oh, invite to that Club Robert's Utopia. one I'm not used to. Oh, you just got something. Get her a little fake cop thing, you know, with the handcuffs mm -hmm. and the bag. So here you go, now you can date any man you meet. <laughs> Told she has to wear a little uh, Santa Claus outfit. Well, she wears a mask, she should be all right. <laughs> Unless she had kicked in the head by a mule. And duct taped her mouth fucking shut. Yeah, I think she pretty much done talks. She knows that doesn't go off on her. Two more weeks and we're camping out. Should be smoking here. Should be smoking in the kitchen. Put it out. Yeah, that's why I walked out when I did. Yeah, when I started, they took the baby in there. That's why I started in here. I was going to go that way. He's got one more season coming out now. He said that's it. Is that a rival man? Huh? Is that survival man or something? Yeah. From every extreme. Should be, yeah, he should be used to it by now. He said... I think he's done 36 episodes now. He said 36 times of going out for a week without food or water, having to do it on your own. He said it takes a toll on your body. He said three seasons is enough. Mm -hmm. He said the worst one he did was that snow one up in Alaska or whatever where they dropped him off. Where they had to take him out? Yeah. Yeah. He said that was the worst one he ever did. No way in the world you catch me one when you do it. He starts off in, uh, shit, I can't remember. 
new new episodes start this week. I down, I've been watching uh, Discovery Truth or something like Destination Truth. That's pretty good. Well, he's got cameraman there. No, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He does his own camera. No, this yeah. is the guy that goes in. He only goes in with three cameras. Does yep. everything himself. Yeah. The, the shots he does, he actually goes, sets it up, does a shot, then goes back and covers all his gear. That's he didn't, he good. doesn't go in with anything. That, that's where where do it. Bear Grylls goes in with a whole thing and they supply him with food and all this kind of crap. Where this guy gets, he literally gets dropped off and that's it. Yep. Yeah, Definition <laughs> Truth was it's funny. The dude, he's like a complete skeptic, and they're doing one. Uh, he was looking for, I think it was a Bigfoot, and they said that he, the guy that claimed that he had saw Bigfoot, said that he spoke Spanish, and there's something else about him that was weird, and he's like sitting there making fun of the dude right to his face. I mean, that guy didn't speak English. He's like, let's get away from the crazy people. <laughs> Did one they were looking for some uh, lake monster and there's a curfew on the lake. You can't have boats out after I, a certain hour. I think I've seen one or two episodes of that. He's out in the middle of this lake and is, runs out of gas. <laughs> they're like, you can't call nobody. We're not supposed to be out here. Like, oh, great. You know, you're breaking the law and you're taping it <laughs> on national TV. Yeah, that would be great. Oh, yeah, I couldn't do that. I don't like bugs. I don't care about bugs. It's that many onions. You'd probably be eating them. Got what you got to do. We said that far out. He said none of them are biting insects. They're just things that land on you. He says there, there are no mosquitoes or anything that bites you that far out. Bugs are shit on you. This was the one where he cuts it the day short too, a day or two short, because a, a jaguar comes around where he's standing. He, he beelines it out of there to the nearest village. Come on, Max. Yeah, sadly. I saw the one Destination Truth where they did the uh, giant spiders looking for that. You would have liked that one. They ended up catching this tarantula that was like that big. It was like 10 inches across. It was huge. Well, I've had two Goliath bird eaters. And my, my one was oh, so about that big. I mean, the lay across here and the legs would stretch out over the end of the plate. Man. What's that? I can't stand spiders. I used to hold her and her whole body would fit my hair in my hand and the legs would just hang on. Yeah, me and her don't like spiders. Uh, well, I used to have one that fit in my hand, her whole body covered my whole hand and the legs would just hang on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, spiders don't bug me. It's like snakes. When I was a kid, they never bug me at all. Now I can't even stand looking at her. I don't want to touch one, but they're cool. They're okay. Level pro on you. No. That's what I'm saying. We're about to look at them. Okay. Okay. I look at them and stuff. They're flying across the room. In a train. Mm -hmm. What? Spider? No, snake. snake. I know they do cost a small fortune. You can do that to my snakes. I got my birds. That's enough. The blue one can fly. I found that out. Yeah. <laughs> Opened the cage door up and took off upstairs. I was like, yeah, oh, damn flip it. their wings regularly or they do fly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wanted to say, I didn't know because I've had him. He's always been in a cage. So I opened the door up. One for what? Probably about five or six. Five or six. That's one that can fly. You can, uh, yeah, the blue one. The uh, yellow one. You take him to a pet store and I'll clip the wings for like ten bucks. Yeah. They're going to out of their cage, so I'm not worried about that. <laughs> I need to take the one and get the metal clip taken off his leg. He's got a little identification clip or whatever on his leg. Wire cutters. Yeah, I ended up cutting his foot right, off. Right. <laughs> That'd be bad. But, dude, you were probably afraid to cut your kid's fingernails, too, when you were a little worried. Yeah. She definitely <laughs> so Nikki do it. Or my dad. What? What is your problem, dog? I used to clip my dog's toes. Didn't matter about that. Grab a blanket, wrap them up. <laughs> Hold that leg out. Uh-huh. Dog hated it. He'd bite the hell out of if you tried to eat. He'd find left trying to flip his toenails. I have to wrap him up in a blanket and hold him with one paw. <laughs> he didn't bite you. Is that Hugh Jackson? Looked like it. Yeah. Is that him and uh, Nicole Kidman one? Yeah. Yeah. Come here. 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 Come here.
Those are two of my favorite people. You see where? Uh, <laughs> I will. I'll be forced to do something. What's the name signed on for two more Iron Man and the Avengers? Yeah. You went ahead and signed them? Yeah, Rodney Downey King. Yeah. But well, they the, changed the black guy or whatever. Yeah, they checked him. Yeah. He got, He's like, he didn't even know about it. Yeah, he's out there doing PR yeah, for the next movie, really. and they nailed him. Then they right. still kicked him out. Yeah. That's bogus. So he, well, that guy signed up for the Avengers movie, too. Yeah. He's off the boat. How long going to be in that one now? A lot. You got Iron Man, Thor's going to be in it, Captain America. Thor is going to be the hardest one to pull off. Captain America, yeah, it is. Yeah, but I mean, it, the whole sto Thor story is gods up in like, north or whatever. So that's going to be a lot to pull off, make it believable. Captain America is what everything's going to hinge on. If Captain America tanks, the Avengers going to tank.